In this video, I'll show you how I drew this background. I also received some requests to showcase my brushes, so I'll be doing that in this video as well. The original reference for this drawing comes from Wander Above the Sea of Fog by Caspar David Friedrich. Without further ado, let's get started. First of all, I chose a color scheme for this. I wanted to keep that same slight refreshing feeling, so I looked through Genshin Landscapes and found something similar. This picture in particular really caught my eye, so I tried to mimic the colors here. Some important things about this picture are that the shapes are really simple. These mountains are one or two shades. Another thing is that the grass on top of the mountains have an unnatural purple tinge to them. I kept these in mind when I was making my palette. Once you've chosen your color scheme, you can start sketching. My favorite technique is to look at the reference in a tiny window to see which lines stick out the most. Here some things I noticed were really important were that the man's torso is basically in the center of the painting. The fog on the side slant downwards and point towards him. As you continue to sketch, you can experiment with different color options and patterns to create a unique design. I added these blue streaks for a pop of color that bring the viewer's eyes towards Garmish. Once you've created your basic design, you can start adding details. This is where my acrylic brush texture comes in. This brush gives a sort of grainy look that is great for mountainsides. I also use this to add my advantage to make the grass near the bottom of the screen. I didn't make this piece with line art because I wanted to preserve the painterly look that was in the original painting. The final step is to refine your design. Some things I usually do at the end of drawing are adding some saturation and contrast. If my drawing looks a little boring, I'll add some chromatic aberration, because honestly it looks really cool in my opinion. You can also add things such as grain and blur. Grain makes the drawing look more analog and, well, aesthetic. Blur helps guide the audience's eyes to the focal point. But don't go overboard with it, because it's a really strong effect. And that's it, you now have a beautiful background. You can add characters to it, leave it how it is, or brag to your friends about it. I hope you found this video useful. I always read all the comments, so if you'd like me to cover a topic, leave it down below. Don't forget to like, share this with a friend who might find it useful, and subscribe to my channel for more art tutorials.